Now, your Channel 3 Max Advantage forecast. Well, again, another day of a bit of a fall-like chill out there to kick things off on this Wednesday morning. Earlier this morning, here were our, over this morning's lows. You can see Saranac Lake got down to 37 degrees, but warmer than where we started off the day yesterday. Yesterday, Saranac Lake was talking about a low of 30, so most of us started off the day a few degrees warmer. The one thing that has not changed is we're all talking a good amount of sunshine here as we head into your Wednesday afternoon. Take you outside towards the Burlington waterfront right now. Not a bad start to our day. Hardly any clouds to speak of, even if you, even as you look out towards the Adirondack. 73 degrees right now in the Queen City. Winds out of the south and east between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Pressure sitting at 30.44 inches and hanging steady. Temperatures out there right now, most of us in the 60s and 70s. Saranac Lake as well as St. Jay still hanging on to 68. Elsewhere, though, we're generally talking to low to mid 70s. And as we head to the rest of the afternoon hours today, most of us are going to climb back into the mid and upper 70s and a few lower 80s here as we head towards this afternoon as well. Satellite and radar scanning things completely dry across the region. Hardly anything to talk about even in terms of cloud cover and basically more of the same here as we head through the rest of your day on this Wednesday. Plenty of blue skies, plenty of sunshine here we head, as we head through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours today. We bring fast forward o'clock all the way towards Thursday. Basically more sunshine from sunrise to sunset here as we head through the course of the day tomorrow and we'll keep that sunshine going right into the day on Friday as well. Temperatures here for the day today. We'll talk mid to upper 70s and lower 80s out there. Tomorrow, probably just a bit warmer. I think most of us will talk upper 70s, lower 80s here for daytime highs for your day on Thursday. Really, the big change comes as we head into the second half of the weekend. You can see Sunday only talking daytime highs in the mid to upper 60s. That's also when the dew points gradually fall a little bit as well. For now, though, really, as we head through the next several days, we'll talk dew points generally in the 50s. So no humidity concerns whatsoever. But again, Again, as I mentioned, that Saturday into Sunday time frame, you can see the dew points begin to slip by a few degrees. That's as a frontal system will begin to work its way through the region, and that's going to bring our next best chance at a few rain showers here, especially as we head towards Saturday night and into the day on Sunday. Wouldn't be surprised, though, if a few rain showers may possibly linger into Monday as well as into Tuesday of next week. Before we get there, though, today is shaping up to be an absolutely lovely day out there. Again, plenty of sunshine, daytime high here for today. They'll climb back into the mid and upper 70s and lower 80s here as we head through the rest of the afternoon hours today. Tonight, clear skies stick around. Overnight lows, they'll fall back into the 40s and 50s. Maybe a little bit of patchy dense fog, especially in those valley locations again as we head towards daybreak tomorrow morning. Into your day on Thursday, most of us a few degrees warmer as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. I think most of us will talk daytime highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s here for your day tomorrow. Now look at that seven day forecast sunshine today, tomorrow and Friday as we head into the weekend clouds gradually on the increase. That's going to give way to a few rain showers here Saturday night and into the day on Sunday. A few rain showers may linger for Monday and Tuesday of next week and temperatures getting a bit cooler as well. Mid to yeah. upper 60s here for daytime highs.